My friends, we're going to solve simple exam problems on the first law of thermodynamics. This is geared towards either a general chemistry class or an introductory physics course or whatnot. So these are real exam problems, and I'm going to explain everything as I go through it. So exam problem number one, heat at 900 joules specifically, specifically is transferred to a system, and 200 joules of work is done on the system. What is delta U? Now, we could answer this without doing any numbers, because it's just asking what is it? Well, this is the change in internal energy. So, done. No, uh, but it's, it's actually asking for a number. So, we'll start with the first law of thermodynamics, and the first law says that the change in internal energy equals the energy transferred as heat plus the work. And uh, this is true for a closed system. So for a closed system, this is true. Now heat, 900 joules, is transferred to a system. So if we imagine having a system, it could be a gas, it could be anything really, uh, we're, we're transferring heat. So the system is getting hotter uh, because we're getting, have this heat transfer to the system. So because the system's getting hotter, Q is positive. So this, this is positive here. So this is 900 joules. Uh, that's positive and 200 joules of work is done on the system so work is force times distance right work is force times distance so what's happening is imagine if there's like a piston here we don't have to have a piston but mathematically it's equivalent and, and nice to think of it we're pushing on the system uh, by transferring work. So we're, we're pushing on the system, we're trying to compress it here. Uh, that means we're transferring energy as work into the system. So this 200 joules has to be positive. Positive 200 joules. Uh, I don't know why I switched the blue, but anyways, uh, this is positive 200 joules because we're putting work into the system. We're doing work on the system. So the change in internal energy is going to be 1100 joules. It gets hotter and it gets even hotter. Be uh, it gets hotter because of the heat transfer. And then the system gets even hotter because we're putting work energy into the system as well. Okay, so I hope that I explained that well enough. Uh, we'll go into exam problem number two calculate work for a system that absorbs 260 kilojoules uh, of heat and for which the change in internal energy is 157 kilojoules. Does the system expand or contract? All right, well, if it expands or contracts, that means if the work is going to be uh, less than zero, if it expands, or work is going to be uh, greater than zero, other way around, if it contracts. And I'll explain why the sign of the work has to be this way. Okay, so we're going to start off with the first law of thermodynamics for a closed system. Uh, and we know what the change in internal energy is. It is 157 kilojoules. And the work is, oh, usually we write, it doesn't matter. Usually we write the heat first, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so there's 260 kilojoules of heat. And we want to know if the work is positive or negative. So we'll solve for the work. So 157 minus 260 should be 103, I believe. Negative 103, if we put that in the calculator. Negative 103 kilojoules. Okay, so negative, now this means, this negative means that the system loses energy. The system loses energy, and it loses energy by performing work. So if we imagine our gas here, and we have a gas in here, it doesn't have to be a gas, but uh, it's conceptually nice to think of one. Now the system loses energy because it does work. So by doing work, it pushes on the piston. Imagine there's a piston here, expands the volume. And by pushing on the piston, it loses energy by kind of expanding and doing work. So the system expands. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get at. Okay, number three. An ideal gas expands from 2.0 liters to 4.0 liters into a vacuum. If the system, and this is very important, uh, if the system loses, 500 joules of energy is heat. What is the change in internal energy? Well, change in internal energy, uh, according to the first law of thermodynamics, equals the heat plus the work. This is true for a closed system. Uh, we want to know the change in internal energy. The system loses 500 joules of heat. So if it loses, that means this is negative 500 joules. I'll just put it in brackets. I don't have to, but it's, I felt like I had to. <laughs> 
and the, an ideal gas expands. Now, ooh, look at this. Work, what is work? Well, for pressure volume work, work is negative P delta V. This is for a constant pressure process. Uh, so if we plug that in, negative P delta V. I derived this a couple of videos ago, so if you want to know where this came from, you can check that out. We know the change in volume. Now it's in liters. We would have to convert it to meters cubed, but we don't know. We don't know the pressure, right? We don't know the change. We don't know what pressure it's opposing. So this is the opposing pressure. So not the pressure of the system necessarily. It often is uh, for introductory chemistry or, or thermal, uh, but this is the opposing pressure. And w is there an opposing pressure? Well, we have this system here, and let's say we have a divider and we have a bunch of gas in here. And this gas is expanding from two liters to four liters. Oh, we could make this a little more realistic, I guess, halfway. This is like two liters here. And if you remove the divider, it's now four liters. And this gas is going to expand, right? But is it pushing? against another gas? Is it pushing on a piston? Is it doing any work? Is there any opposing force that any force that's opposing these molecules from expanding? Is there? No, there's nothing because this is a vacuum. There's nothing here. So there's no opposing force. That means there's no opposing pressure. That means the work is is zero. There's that's it's just zero. So the change in internal energy is negative 500 joules. So that means that the system loses energy as heat. That means heat loss occurs to the surrounding. So we have energy being transferred out. This, the system is hotter than the surrounding. So we have this heat transfer going out. Uh, and the molecules move slower because the change in internal energy is less than zero. All right. Number four here, exam problem number four. So a 53 gram block of iron is placed on a hot plate and 325 kilojoules of energy as heat is transferred to it. Okay, so that's what's going on. Uh, what is the change in internal energy of the iron? So I'm going to just start off with the equation because I know I need it. Change in internal energy plus the energy transfer to heat plus the work. So this first law of thermodynamics for a closed system. And I'm just going to kind of really briefly sketch this. So we have a hot plate and it gets hot and we have a block of iron on the hot plate. That's our iron. Uh, oh, and we're transferring heat. So it's getting hotter. So we have heat transfers. Sorry if this is small. This is supposed to be an arrow going in. And this, this is a Q, so going in. Uh, change in internal energy of the iron. Okay, well, we have this much energy is transferred to it. Now, the iron gets hotter. The irons are system. So it's gaining energy as heat. So we're going to have positive 325 kilojoules of energy. Uh, plus work, which is negative P delta V. Now, there is an opposing pressure around this block as it gets hotter, right? There's the gas molecules, air molecules, molecules in the air that's causing pressure. So there is an opposing pressure, but the change in volume of this iron as it gets warmer is going to be negligibly small. It isn't zero. It will expand, but it's going to not expand very much. You're just heating a chunk of metal. That chunk of metal is not going to expand like a balloon. So compared to these 325 kilojoules, we can assume that the change in volume is neglig negligibly small. Uh, so the work, we're going to assume that it's, it's about it's zero because it doesn't expand for all intents and purposes. So the change in internal energy is 325 kilojoules. All right, hot dog. That is the last one. Right on. Okay, well, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the next video builds on this. And then from there, we get into enthalpy and entropy and all these fun exam problems that by the end of it, you should see, you should feel like I'm good. Like I got this stuff. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get an A or at least pass, do very well. And thank you for choosing me to take you on this journey. All right, see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.